opponent from Nepal, fighting in the blue corner at 168 centimeters tall, weighing in at 61 kilograms, Anisha Kadaka! Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Najmadeen Scorpion all the way from Abu Dhabi. Muay Thai fight night. With me, special guest here, Victor, if my world champion. Such a pleasure to have you here, Victor. How are you doing, Victor? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you, Najmadin. Wow, I mean, the, the energy is sky high here. We've got Anisha Katka walking in right now. She had three wins, 2017, 2017, and 2019, in Thailand and in Cambodia. And she is facing off Sarah, El Bakali fighting at 61 kgs. Sarah's also had three fights, three wins in 2016 and 16 and 2018. Morocco and the United Arab Emirates. This has been, uh, we've been waiting for this. I mean, Victor, the fight card looks scary. It looks amazing. Yeah. You've seen the fight card. What do you think tonight yeah. it's going to look like? It's going to be really pleasure to be in this setup because the whole event looks amazing in this crazy circumstances what we have. But the guys pulled this together and we're going to have a great fight night. Absolutely. I mean, the setup, like always, every single time the UAE Muay Thai Federation organizes these incredible events, all we see it's just a professional job done, an amazing job, well done. Perfect, yeah, it's the, a really pleasure to be here. Absolutely, same here. I mean, I can't wait. I've been waiting for this to happen. I've been on fire. And there, the ring girls just exited the ring. Round one is gonna come and start. I can't wait to see this. We're gonna start easy with the ladies and we'll see how it's gonna go in the future. We can't wait to see the fight card. Well, I mean, you know what? We, we, we might think, we might think that this is gonna be an easy start, but knowing okay. the ladies in the Muay Thai ring, oh my God, they are vicious, man. Sometimes more than the men, to be honest. <laughs> and I can't wait to see this. Victor, just until they're done, I wanna hear a little bit about you. you I, I've heard some incredible things about you. You're the IFMA Thank world you. champion, world champion several times. You've had so many fights. Tell us a little bit in short about your career. So basically I was participating for, like you said, IFMA, International Federation of Muay Thai Amateur. Uh, this is professional fight and similar rules. The only thing is like, we have like kind of a headgear and uh, set up to protect our body. Yeah. But the point is, like, everybody is training full on, and so you need to be completely into this training to, to make endure to do this Muay Thai, how it has to be. That is true. I mean, you know, we, we see them in professional fighting. You know your opponent at least one month, two months in advance. You know okay. how to work, you know, your training is all based on that. But when it's amateur, like IFMA, you don't know who you're facing. You might go against someone who's a complete pro. You might go against someone who's a beginner, someone who's southpaw or orthodox. So to me, I think sometimes amateur is something that's a bit harder, to be honest. And then you have like a couple of days back-to-back -back fights. In, like uh, in professional, you just like have a uh, one, night, one fight that night and then you can prepare for another fight. But yeah. there you have back-to-back -back fights. So amateur, like you said, it might be a little bit more complicated. But professional is another level it's again. Another that's level. what we're gonna see tonight. Indeed, I mean, you know, no shin pads, no headgear, uh, nothing, nothing on the elbows. So I'm expecting to see some good clinching. I'm expecting to see some good elbows. Right now we're gonna go through this Vai Kru introduction of the dance of the fighters. They're gonna present us how they're gonna traditionally fight, and then they're gonna put all into the fight. Amazing, look at that. Red Corner just finished her little dance. Well, it looked like a prayer to me. Once again, welcome everybody to the Muay Thai Abu Dhabi Fight Night, organized by the UAE Muay Thai Federation. Always 
a job well done, an amazing job. The amount of support and effort that the Muay Thai Federation gives those events is incredible. I mean, absolutely love it. You know, I, I think, I look back and I think, man, I wish I was born in this time in yeah. the United Arab Emirates, because now I call Abu Dhabi the city of champions, the city of events. Of the future of the Muay Thai also. Ah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And of the fighting scene. The UFC is here, the Muay Thai. The, all the time, MMA fights. Everything. Everything. All the time. I mean, Abu Dhabi, the city of champions, the city of events. What a place to be. I am so flattered to be here, everybody. And I can't wait till this fight starts. Anisha fighting Sarah at 61 kilograms. Wow. Here they go. And there's the referee. And we've got some of the best referees in the world, international referees. I mean, the UAE Muay Thai Federation has nothing, nothing stops them. They go all out on everything. Fighters, ring, events, organization, referees, you name it. And here we go. Look at that, feeling each other out, you know, like always. Oh, it, it has begun, Victor. Ooh, she caught her with a one-two there. Ooh, she caught her back with a one-two. Wow. <laughs> I don't, oh, there's an elbow too, and a knee. Very nice clinching, good, good grip by. <laughs> oh, I miss this man. Oh, what a beautiful back fist there, landed straight on her face. Nice elbow. <laughs> this is going to be vicious, man. Look at that. Those two ladies are at it, man. They both are good. Neither of them wants to back out. Look at that. Hard low kick. Hard low kick back. Ooh. Man, that was a nice straight right in the Oh, another one. You know what? As you said, it's going to be vicious. It yeah. started very nice, very good fight. I mean, she caught her three times really hard with that right. The attack with the full on with the kicks and elbows and the clinching was... Oh, she caught her again. With her hands. Oh, this is on fire. This is the first fight, ladies and gentlemen. And we are on fire. Well, I mean, Blue Corner is not backing out, you know. She's moving forward, even though she got a few good clear punches in the face. Man, she's still moving forward. All right, quick there question there, Victor. There How do you think this fight's gonna... Oh, she caught her twice. This and again. Great hands from the red corner. How do you think this is gonna go? Oh, very nice, very nice red corner start. Yeah. Good clinching. I like the blue style, attacking all the time, having the position in the ring. But the red corner is all the time contra. Very good start. Started very strong. Very strong. Look at that. She keeps the catching over there. Going, right. going, going forward. That's really nice to see in the ring. The domination. He's like, break. They're like, no, I don't want to let her go. <laughs> wow. Oh, Sarah with a back kick, man. Nice. And she comes back. One, two, one, two, kick. And a kick. And she catches her with that straight right. I mean, this is only the first round. Look at that. I hope they don't gas out really quick with that. We'll see the conditioning. Three rounds ahead of us. Oh, oh nice start. Ooh, and another one. Man. The red one has a great distance. Great distance. And the <laughs> Did first she just round. give her a tap on the shoulder like, how dare you fall on top of me like that? <laughs> I love that energy. Victor, what do you think of the first round? No, amazing start, like you said. I said it slowly, but it started viciously. <laughs> the ladies always put the fire on, and, and definitely the energy is hyped. The girls were fighting very good. The red one has a great distance, great punches with the hands, oh. like what you can see. I mean, I, I, felt, I felt that just watching that. You see, like, she has a great distance, great contrast, 
but the blue one was always going inside. Oh, this is nice backspin. Boom! Oh! Yeah, in Muay Thai is the best part uh, where you can attack with everything of what you have, like either boxing, kicks, knees, elbows, backspin, like what you see, this was nice start with the front elbow to reach the blue. I mean, it, so far, I would say oh, uh, Sarah in the red corner definitely has the first round. It was it was nice position her in the ring. She was moving nicely, had a right distance, making a good contrast. First round, like you can say, you can say it was hers. That is true. I agree with you there, Victor. And I can't wait to see what round two. I think if Anisha wants to win this, she's going to have to cook something up in the second round. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round two is about to start. We're about to see war once again. And this is why we are here. And the referee brings him in and he says, fight round two, Let's ladies see. and gentlemen. Let's see. Oh, beautiful combination there by Sarah again. Boom. Sarah started a little bit more active than the first round. That is true. Something always good to see there, Victor. Oh, good job. Good distance oh, again. You see? She got her with everything there. I mean, it's, it's her distance, it's her game. When she gets to this short distance, she can throw the hands, she finishes with the kick. 100%. I mean, if Anisha doesn't come up with a new game plan, this is going to go one way, and it won't be a surprise. But I see, I see Sarah gassing out a little bit there. Oh, the referee's like, don't stand there. Oh, yeah, and she yeah, goes for it. She goes so <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, nice good catch. catch. Yes. Ah, smashes her there. Oh, I think, I think Anisha is hurt, to be honest. I think she's hurt. It looks like it. I mean, now wouldn't be a time for Sarah to catch a breather. Now would be a time for her to go full on, I would say. It's a good control, smart, smart from Sarah. You see this contra with the right hand, overhand. She has a good control of the fight. That is true. Oh, she caught her again with that left man. Very nice. Oh! Oh, and another one. Oh, my God. She's landing everything at will. <laughs> He's like, break, for God's sake, ladies. Calm down. You will fight. <laughs> Nice oh, back kick. Change, yeah. That was smart also. Attack option from changing from the hand. Going with the kick. Oh. And those low kicks, man, they take a toll on you, man. And she's landing every single low kick. Oh, another take down there. Well, not, this is not uh, proper throwing in the Muay Thai over the hip, but that's still, true. like yeah. I see the referee is like, that. Don't do that again. Oh, beautiful oh, hook straight. Beautiful combination there. Whoa, and an look overhook. at his lower head. Oh, nice. Just beautiful. And an elbow. Look at the way they, look at the way Anisha's looking at her. When she's in the, in the clinch. She's a bit I think so. But she's it's being overpowered. She's what do you think about it? Do you I think, think this could be a KO? <laughs> you think this will be a KO? Because I, we've only got 15 seconds left on the mark. But yeah. round three. She had a nice couple of... Oh! oh. Yeah, the referee didn't say anything. He's got a point. And there we go. End of round two, ladies and gentlemen. What a round. That was Sarah. incredible. Sarah I mean, was vicious here. Sarah was vicious. She put the second round on fire. She definitely, even I would say there was a count at like last point of the round, but I mean, look at that! Just completely overpowering her opponent like that. Amazing job from Sarah.
and, and a lot of respect for Anisha. Yeah, definitely. Taking all those punches, man, and still coming back at her. Look at that. She doesn't stop. But this is the spirit. Oh. This is the best spirit of the fighting on the Muay Thai, especially. You never fall down. You just never give up. You just keep on going. You, you have head up. Even though you're getting something beaten, you don't want to fall. You don't want to give up. Let's see the third round, if she can put some, some show on and get some air. I agree with you there, Victor, 100%. Sarah looks pretty fresh for the third round. She does. Even though she dominated that fight completely, didn't stop punching and kicking, and she still looks fresh. She has a beautiful long distance uh, punches with one, two, with the straight jab and the couple of crosses overhead. What do you think Anisha should do round three in order for her to switch things around? If she will be a little bit more intelligent, close this fight like towards her win, of course, but if she want a little bit push it and be more aggressive, maybe she can finish it with a knockout. We'll see. Anisha doesn't look like she can... <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but I think maybe if she works she a little will, bit of high she kicks... She will give the best. She will, do, she will give the best. You can see that she's a fighter. I'd like to see her throwing some high kicks. Maybe that would change things around. Here we go, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, with a Superman punch. The second the referee says fight, round. she's going for the kill, man. Look at that. Well, she'll either get the kill or... This is clinching, nice clinching with the Anisha side, trying to control it. <laughs> On the floor, there is no more MMA. He just looked at her like, fighting. you dropped me, I'm going to drop you back. <laughs> Another catch, she catches her with every punch, every kick, unbelievable. Another overhook. And then another one straight. Oh. I think she put on to, to finish this fight. Now, now, oh, now we there we go, the referee gave her count. First count now. Yep, she seems to be fine. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, is Sarah going for the kill? I want to see that. A little bit too far for that elbow. That is a nice elbow. That was From a nice the clinch, trying to put it. Oh, oh there's nice that high kick. kick. She got her rocky Tip there for a second. Two kick to body and the knee. And another knee. I think here is where it's gonna happen. Oh, there, geez. look at that, beautiful. Rampage. That's the creativity of how she's... Ah, another count! I think the referee will give her one more. Or is it over? I think he'll give her one more. All right, there we go, yes he is. I think that's a good call on the referee. Because you never know how it goes with Muay Thai fights. But Sarah, what are you gonna do? Looks fresh. Beautiful push kick. Looks fresh. Even though third round, oh. nice and I mean, I, oh, look at that. I, I would give her another count. That's it, man, look at that. And if it's a count, that's a finish three it's a counts. Finish. That's in one round. Yeah, there we go. Because we're not getting anything from Anisha anymore. But you know, in Muay Thai nowadays, they are allowed to give them another count. Over three counts in one round. Oh, he is giving it to her. Oh my God. Well, she's got 20 seconds. Is she gonna go for the finish? Ah, oh, that low kick must have hurt. 10 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful Superman punch lands. Anisha just trying to survive that. Wow, oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. And this is only the first fight tonight. Amazing, what do you think of this, Victor? Yeah, no, definitely they put the show. Uh, Anisha did good eventually the whole three rounds. 
Sarah was showed the great experience. Each round she was picking up the pace, and the third round she wanted to finish. Got three knock knockdowns, like three count counts, but he didn't finish with the TKO. But on point, still great show from great. Sarah. Great job. I agree with you 100%, Victor. Wow. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Muay Thai night in Abu Dhabi, the city of events, the city of champions, and the city of championships. Organized by the UAE Muay Thai Federation. Such a pleasure to be here. A great honor. I'm very flattered. And it's also a pleasure to have Victor, world champion, here with me as well. Such a pleasure, Victor. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. This is the great evening. We're gonna just have fun. A lot watching, of fun. Watching this, this Muay Thai show put together in these crazy times of Corona. Everything secured. That is true, and they've done such a good job with all testing everybody, everything apparently. And I've let's to them. find out our and winner of our lightweight bout. To the ring. Winning our first bout of the night from Morocco, Sarah El Bakari! That was kind of obvious. Congratulations. Congratulations. No Sarah. surprise. Yes. We knew this was happening. Everybody, I guess, watching this knew this was going to happen. No surprise at all. Congratulations. Here we go. Back to the ring, everyone. Sarah, Sarah, just a few words. Congratulations on the big victory. It looks like your striking was on par tonight. Is this something you practiced before coming in? Um, I'm so happy for this today. And I really, I, I want to say thank you for all and for the Federation because uh, they give chance for me for uh, play for this uh, competition. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent work. Sarah el from the red corner. And for the award ceremony, Mr. Fahad Kalfon Al Abduli, the head of activities of the UAE Thai Kickboxing Federation. <laughs> 